Welcome back to part seven of my Meow Ying Let's Play, Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. We just finished off Deathmaster Snitch and wiped out Clan Eshin by taking them out at Tai Zhu. Now, we're going to focus back on the Descender Lords of Jin Shen by marching towards the Shrine of the Alchemist and then on over to the City of Monkeys. Not planning on holding on to either of these settlements for too long, look to trade them to the Western Provinces led by the Iron Dragon, our brother dragon in this campaign. That frees up Meow Ying to either march north to help defend the Great Bastion or potentially look to other threats uh, around the rest of the map here possibly even Most the jade custodians especially if they don't get off my land let's issue them a trespass warning i love that feature uh from what you guys have seen of warhammer 3 so far what is your single favorite feature mechanic unit you know what's the one thing that really stands out for you um there, there's so many things i'm not sure i can just pick one but seeing as that's popped up for us at the start of the episode today it's such a, a small change but a really solid one that trespass warning um they don't particularly child. like us so they could end up going to war with us or we could go after them and break them actually uh, obviously just depends how much pressure we get put on at the great bastion because i'm looking to trade these regional regions away down here so that i can secure this flank and then focus back on up here but we'll see what happens um where are the rest of their regions so they've got the capital shang wu and nong chang Bridge of Heaven and Shilong are held by the Skull Takes. There's greenskins up here. There's also some up here, I think. Yeah, Village of the Moon. The Leafcutters tribe. Okay. Right, let's move I on over here. Cut. We'll stay so we can... In our own region so we can replenish a little bit. Okay, they've actually built up their forces. Okay, this could be a little bit tougher than I was expecting. Let's go into Channeling Stance. Get more Winds of Magic Reserve there lovely stuff and let's get this army into the snake gate for now yeah, we've got that upkeep reduction we'll keep upgrading that we'll keep upgrading the snake gate as well and you guys were saying in terms of the compass next time we can point somewhere go for celestial lake because of that extra income from all buildings we've got um you know a decent bit of defense up and running now along the great bastion and obviously celestial intervention is nice i think unless chaos are pushing towards us we won't go for this again just for the moment we'll probably look for celestial lake just to give us a little bit more income so we can start upgrading uh, our territories you know at the moment we're probably looking to play tall with the sort of slightly smaller re uh, sort of limited number of regions that we've got uh, and then we'll go from there so what are we researching right now we're going through the middle so we don't upset this that's fine what we're we building over here we've got yang okay so terracross graveyard if i build something in here gotta be careful because it's gonna break the the balance Got two turns left on the confederation we can start repairing relations elsewhere with other Cathayan factions i mean i could go for another recruitment building and we've got that over the mines here we really want to do it in a in a four slot so either like warp zone desert or if we were to grab all this but it's quite back behind our front lines they're so probably having multiple regions of unit recruitment would be terrible but also at the same time we do need more money more income uh income from trade faction wide how much are we actually getting from trade 486 um i mean i guess when we get more trade agreements that will eventually be more worthwhile but right now let's go for that that will do some yang can I go right to counter that? We'll go back to fletching mentors. We must remain superior. That'll be fine. We can deal with that all there. Uh, caravans, how close are we to? Four turns left. Four turns left. Let's return to the capital. Fine, then we can send this one out again. Um, but it's various upgrades, so we might be able to do a shorter route with him, possibly down to the Thunder Guts or something like that. Quick little look in diplomacy, see if there's any quick deals to be made. Uh, the Blood Guzzlers will consider that non-aggression. But for the moment, not sure where they've only got one. <laughs> Push that. You've already got trade. Anyone else for trade? Be all the ogres. We're not going to get that much from them right now. Western provinces, consider that. We'll wait, I think, until that confederation penalty is worn off. We will have a threat at the Great Bastion soon. So, yeah, we are going to want to swing north with uh, Yao Ying for sure. Just hope the Jade Custodians don't do anything stupid. My lord, arrival powered. 
Thank you. You guys want defensive alliance. Um, yeah, you know what? For now, for now, let's do it. It didn't hurt us having one with... Yeah, that's fine. Didn't hurt having one with the Imperial Wardens before we were able to confederate with them. Plus, it means I can then set them targets to try and weaken them the same way that I did the Imperial Wardens. I'm glad quite a few of you enjoyed that, uh, I guess, treacherous diplomacy. That was quite fun to pull off. Ooh, more hungry, hungry ogres. We can get more relations with them or we lose some... No, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lose my army. We're going to fight that. I think we can just order resolve it. It's a close victory. We're not going to lose anyone. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm not sacrificing my peasants. No, no, no. Teeny tiny amount of replenishment there. It does quite nicely heal up the Lord, though. But... Mm, nah, give me more. Give me more gold. We are kind of limited right now. Trespass warning ignored. Okay. There's disharmony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thought Weaver. Okay, well, depending on what's going on with the Great Bastion, the hey, Custodians, you might have just made an enemy out of me here. I mean, you're with Celestial Loyalists, so they would like me going to war with them. It is always oh, they're going to be, surely... I might be able to just confederate with them once this current penalty wears off in a turn because they're at strength rank 80. It is Wait, Jin, yeah, it's the Celestial Palace, Celestial Court up there. We want to obviously have that at some point. That will really solidify our control because they've got quite a few regions. We'll have to think off those green skins and look to push out over here. That's fine. This is a time of misery. Right, well, they've moved away from the Shrine of the Alchemist. They've got an army over here. That's not going to be enough to break through uh, Nanli. Plus, we're obviously getting that garrison building in their next turn. They've moved their main army over here. So City of Monkeys will be tougher to take. Go on in here. It's Pyrrhic victory. We're going to lose some of our units here. So we will need to fight this one. I've actually got a decent garrison. Celestial Dragon Guard and Celestial Dragon Crossbows. That's why we're going to have to fight this one. Okay. In we go. Let's do it. Uh, also, I just want to say, I'm not ignoring your unit name suggestions. I'm just holding off adding them in because I am planning on, on swapping out the uh, Iron Hell Gunners for Jade Crossbow, but we just haven't had a chance to get Yao Ying back up that way or, or, you know, the money to globally recruit them. If we haven't had a chance to recruit those Jade Crossbows by Part 9, which will be out on Monday, um, before I start recording, I'll add in your names at the start of Part 9, whether or not we've got Jade, Jade Crossbows. So, yeah, pop them over on Part 1. Uh, and of course, as always, your advice, tips and tactics, comments, all greatly appreciated. Right. We're going to not want to split up too much, but I'm not going to go in from here because that is quite the choke point. Why is it? Ooh, why is it also green here? Oh, Warp Zone Desert, right? I love that. Battlefields feel very like dynamic and you know really immersive to where you're fighting on the... On the campaign map now i'd be tempted like i split up my force but i'd be tempted to pincer them in the middle squish them in half so have half my force this side and half the force that side just because i feel that this isn't like you've got so many options branching out from here you can go left right or through the center whereas here you can only go left or right i think that's what we'll look to do obviously want to balance our Harmony bonuses. Now with these guys, we've gotta we've gotta try and focus on getting the line of sight clear with these iron hell gunners, because otherwise they are not effective. So we've got slightly increased range. We have that harmony bonus, that's beautiful. And you guys as well were saying, oh god, we've got so many abilities now. Can't see them all. I feel like we've got all this space down here. Obviously, it's a stack more of them, but maybe actually they could scale it out a little bit more, make this whole panel a bit higher and actually make the icons, you know, not all clump up and have a secondary row. What do we, what do we think about that? A little bit of feedback. Let's change. Let's go to this guy. Maybe it's him that's got it. Uh, 
They're not elemental mastery. I thought there was someone was saying there's one where if you have your lords or heroes, maybe it's just your lord, close to your units, they have oh harmony amplifier that Durp is there. Only the strongest amplifier bonus is applied. Yeah, I don't know what trait that's to. He's only he's 25%, so she gives a plus hundred percent amplifier to that harmony. Which is yeah, that's that's bonkers. Okay, check their stats out here. Keep her there. We'll have that there as well. I think if we have the cavalry here as well, or we could have the cavalry up here. I wish there was some to somewhere to hide the cav. We can hide the cavalry in this patch of trees and then send them up this way. So if they leave that unguarded, let's do that. I know they're not supported now. Cut. Swing on over this way. Have you guys like so. And then in the middle of them, have the missile troops. And then have you, Tim, in there as well for that modifier bonus. That's looking very nice. Let's start the battle. It's just I'm going to quickly pause just so that we can take a look at the modifiers here. So their one is reload skill. Yeah, so their missile strength has really increased there. 1.5k. That is disgusting. That damage. And then for the infantry... The defense is through the roof and obviously their leadership. It is our sworn duty to defend Cathay on any front from which it is threatened. Understood. For the Emperor! Where are you moving forward? Go over here then, I guess. You can't get a clear line of sight to them. And I got the guard. March everybody forward here and then look to fire. I haven't put anyone up here, so I can flank on round and go for a capture over here. What I'm thinking... What do I do? Barely put anyone over here. The celestial daughter. Missile mirror. Quick, 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 quick. Reflect those shots to them. They fire, it just fires straight back at them. I love that. That's just great. They've not put anyone over here. They put all their forces over the other side. Whoa! Was that the Was that that was their celestial intervention, wasn't it? It just landed on me there. Ruddy heck. Didn't even see that come on in. They spent it on that unit. Just harass them. We'll focus on that tower in a minute. Taking our time, slowly but surely uh, working our way up and in. March forward. Shred them. Let's squish them in the middle here. Fire over there, please. Defenders of Cathay. The heavens guide me. Okay, missile we units, take out that them. tower for us. Oh, they were the way they built up barricades there. They've, they've locked themselves in that center bit. That's actually smart. Nice, they can hold up over there. Stone and steel. Okay, Master. quickly turn into a dragon. Because those cavalry are going to need you. Go, go, go. That tower is down. Move the crossbows up. Instead. Crossbowman. Jade Warriors. Iron Hail Gunners. Move in formation. Set by dragons. 
March in order the ranks. Mistress of Storms. Yeah, mom. Bring him down. Cavalry. I'm gonna use her talons of night. We can. Take him out here. Oh, that was huge. Lost him out back that way. Dragon. They've got their lord up over here. Put yourself in here because we can do talons. Stone and steel. Stone and steel. Oh, they're just traps, aren't they? With joy. Can't get through here. With infinite pride. March on through. Iron hail gunners. Repositioning. Reposition to take them out over there. Okay, yeah, that's not going to be the one. One over here and drop a bomb right on their face, please. That did break them quite nicely, though. Finish that one off. Move you guys up closer to amplify that harmony. Zap them with another thunderbolt there. Unheld gunners. Shred the celestial dragon crossbows. With pride. Rooting out evil. Execute them. Sanctify dragons. There we go. Capture that point. And then we're going to break fairly soon. They've got their lord up here, but I'm not too worried about the Astromancer. Praise the dragons. Sheng Yang sends us. Oh, they don't run away. Come on, let me get you with my bombs. Three. No, you're running away. Understood. Understood. Strike them down. Cavalry's managed to see them off over here. Horses pull that way. You guys pull around that. Shoot that lord down. There we go. There's the break. And. drop a bomb but they're just too fast that's fine that'll do close victory better than a pyrrhic 411 lost not too bad Bears took a bit of a beating that unheld kind of that got celestial bombardment obviously the cavalry but they did their job the sky junk took a fair whack we just couldn't get i'm surprised it... i think it was just trying to find clear line of sight actually to fire through those buildings that kept moving today Kept our harmony up on all those uh, Jade Warriors, so they stood pretty darn firm. Nice, nice, nice. Um, we could loot occupiers. We are planning on trading it away. Just give us a bit more income. Yeah, why not? Loot occupier. We could have sacked it, but I do want to get in it to replenish as well. Especially if we suddenly get attacked by these guys. Um, I'll probably trade it away. I mean, we can trade that one, actually. I've got to remember, actually, trading away those, that's going to shift my... That would actually fix things, though, if I trade both of those away. Xiaoming, the Lord of the Jade Swan gladly receives you. I'm going to do one at a time. Yeah, trade that one to them. That will instantly give me military access. In return, I can probably also ask for a fair bit of money. Yep. And that still improves our treaties with them. Just double check. I'm not going mad here. That is part of the yeah, Warpstone Desert, as is that I one. Stand apart. Fire and metal. The Iron Dragon's assistance will 
Go for that one. Granted for that in there. Reason. Bada bing, bada boom. You haggle like a foreign. And I can trade you that one if I wanted to as well. That would increase things quite nicely. They're already fairly friendly, but we're not going to do that just yet because we want to stay in there for a turn. How much would they... They don't give me... They've got... Yeah, they've got no money left. So we want to wait for a turn or two. Has that made them... I think, actually a, I think it made them a little bit weaker. They ate before. I think they were like three or four. They're actually at one yang. That yin will knock us back. That's fine because we've got that one in there now. Those are different bits to build. How is chaos looking over here? We are about to face an invasion threat. Uh, and apparently as well, if I have Miao Ying at one of the Bastion Gates, she does a special little cinematic speech or something like that. So I do want to try and get her back up for that. Defender. If anything, we might swap the other smaller force to come down here and just harass them or go after the uh, the Jade, whatever they're called. Uh, Eye of the Storm gives us the in dragon form. I think that's what we want to go for next. I mean, we want to go for those as well. But no, Eye of the Storm for sure. And then more, more spells. I Lovely. You, Tim, we are going to go for... I won't give you the war compass yet. Um, Earthing, Mystical Space, no, Comet of Cassandora. Meowing. Um, Likewise, not going to do anything here, though. We'll be over with Yang, so we'll have to build something else somewhere else. That's fine. Don't repair that. Not going to recruit anything else just there because your garrison Dragon should be fairly Shugunga. strong. Plus, we are upgrading it again. So let's look for income from all buildings, local province. Upgrade that. Upgrade that. Uh, Wang Chang. Go for that marble. We can still go for all the other bits as well. We've got so much money. Yeah, upgrade everything that's on offer here then. And Gao. Can't go for that. Yep, we, the clay pit would be nice. Advanced military stuff would also be nice. Can't do the Celestial Tower, the War Compass, Magic Chariot, and a Terracotta Sentinel would be lovely. I'd love to get more Sky Junk as well. The sky Lanterns, which are weaker, aren't they? Yeah, these those are more like gunners, right? And those ones are the artillery. That one in there. We could go for... All of those faction wide spice market, whack that in there. It's going to be yin, which would, when we balance everything else out, possibly be what we want. How is our growth right now? 100. We max it out with that one. We need to upgrade that further if we're going to. Whatever we go for right now, it's going to tip it back the other way. Although when we trade this one away, what's that? That's Yang. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna upset it no matter what we do. I think though, I'm gonna wait a turn and get our kilns in there because that'll bring us in more trade income overall so we'll wait for that next turn i think Get that some unsigned skill point for my caravan oh yeah after his battle um we'll go for better sale value right now because he's about Surely to sell it a gift from the dragons the lord magistrate stands ready. damage building yeah not gonna worry about that one Oh, they're raiding up through our territory. That's fine. We can take them out on our way back up. I mean, I'd love to actually just stop. We could leave City of Monkeys and March North. Oh, another ogre one. Another ogre attack. They really are all coming after us. Fight it because don't want to lose any troops. It's a valiant def... What? How? Man eaters. I mean, I get they're strong, but... I don't know if this is 
you know, just something that CA need to rebalance a little bit or whether it's it's purposely done like that on hard, on harder difficulties. Obviously, we're playing on very hard. But, and I mean, I get that they want you to fight more battles, most likely. But I don't see how in any... I mean, I guess it's if they crack through my infantry because they're weakened. I mean, there's no way, especially with that army ability. Fight battle. Can't say I'm surprised. I'm, um... I'm pretty sure, like, the AI, the order resolve is always fairly wonky at launch most of the time and needs a rebalance, but it's been, it's been wonky for a while. Although I think the last update they did to Warhammer 2, when they actually brought in this uh, kind of preview of what was, what we see now in Warhammer 3, where it tells you or indicates what units you're going to lose. I feel like that was actually fairly, fairly decent. Oh yeah, we're by, Kis we're by Kislev regions, aren't we? So there's some Kislev settlements. Sneak peek. Uh, should say my Kislev campaign starts tomorrow. It's a YouTube series as well, like this Cathay campaign, and it'll be out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday going forward. So first episode's out tomorrow. Uh, second episode out on Saturday. Of course, we've got we've got an Empire character in here as well, the captain. Love that you can pick up agents from other factions as well. That's really cool. Um. I wonder if the gunners will fire through the center here because they're kind of raised up. Have them as high as possible. No mind Yang's faithful. We've got the Jade Lancers, which I'm going to put in the trees over here. Anti-infantry. Noise. Maintain ordered ranks. They come. What a brilliant like position as well to have a battle on fighting on the slopes. Never conquered. Thoughts in harmony. Put you guys on to guard mode. Should be able to fire over my troops the way I position them. I'm going to try and slow the enemy down out here with the celestial warriors. Yep, yeah, they can fire. Beautiful. Cavalry round them down. Bringing harmony. Take them out. Our ancestral warriors. There we go. Mines as one. Defenders of Cathay. Wind and fire. Go back after them and reform the line over there. Dive in against him. Understood. The cavalry go. Charging uphill, I know, not ideal, but these guys are pulling back because they're terrified. Lovely stuff. They're bringing him down nicely. Never conquered. Celestial fury. Order and balance. Reform the battle lines. Unheld gunners shredding the man eaters. The celestial faithful. He's broken. It's just these guys over here. Wind and fire. Oh, they're all gone. Beautiful. Seen those ogres off. That'll do. 71 lost.
bad, not bad, not bad. Lovely stuff. And more replenishment. We are constantly getting attacked, but I think we can still take it. We need all the money we can get as well right now for upgrading stuff. Ally begins outpost construction. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I could actually do that. We need a lot of money to do it, so I'm not going to worry about that just yet. But we could check confederation as well. Technology research. Yin, we're back balanced. Nice. Bastion threat increases. Yep. So we're going to want to get you know, back up here. I'm just wondering, maybe we don't bother with City of Monkeys. Because if we trade this and there's at least a solid wall across, that should give us enough time, especially with Nanli now with a decent force there. I think because of that threat, we pull Miao Ying back up north. It's going to take a few turns to get up there. And who knows what's going to spawn on in. Plus, if we get her up here, we either get rid of this army or we swing it over to one of the other gates, which, yeah, we might need to do that. Not really that for the crane gunners. Crane gunners would sound awesome. Um, I'd really love to do all that. Uh, that's growth replenishment. Uh, we've got this one, which does recruit rank. Yeah, it's not upkeep cost reduction. We've only got that snake gate. But it would save a lot by having Miao Ying's army in there. Turtle gate. If we're going to have one, it'll be uh, upkeep for other ones in there. Let's just see if we can confederate with these guys. It, it oh, so close. So, so close. I mean, I could threaten, but I don't want to risk that. It's the last thing we need right now. Dave Custodians. Oh, they are starting to improve now. The Celestial Blacksmith. Lord Magistrate. So, so close there. That'll give us six more settlements, which should just be bonkers for us. Gonna lose harmony if we trade that away. What I'm gonna do is force march up here. Well, I will take you guys out if I can as we go past, but I'm not going to worry too much. Let's trade that over to Western provinces as well. There are important matters to consider. Trine of the Alchemist. We can instantly get, then get a military alliance with them. Ask for money, we lose the military alliance, but we get a defensive alliance, which I think is what we'll take right now. Rather than a military alliance. That gives me some money as well. You haggle like a foreigner. They've now got all that. Very unlikely to want to join the Confederation. <laughs> That's fine. We can now see all their stuff though, which is cool. Oh, we can see where he is as well. He's all the way down here. He's going to keep on improving though. So I reckon over time, we'll definitely get him to a point where he'll confederate with us. Let's see off. He's off to some people down here. So he can go through the pass, through the mountains this way. Interesting. And yeah, to get through, you've got to come through all of the green skins and what have you down here. Although it's unpleasant climate. As is the mountains. What is actually our suitable? Emperor, savannah, and desert. Be able to grab all of this. Yes, you can take stuff over here if you ever made your way over here. Why would you? Pretty much just be... Probably once we grabbed all this territory, just playing tall, doing the... Uh, victory conditions, I guess. Depends what how aggressive Chaos is going for us up here. Through the Great Bastion. Right, now we trade that way. We're slightly yin. That is fine. Could fix it by going yang with... Another thing there, but I think I'm going to get that bowl in. And so Yang can probably build something to sort that out. But let's go towards that right now, that banner, For just in the case. Effort. We're going to upgrade that one, but it doesn't give us any more Yang. 
Uh, right now, I think actually we should go for that extra growth at the capital. Along the walls, what can we do? We can upgrade that one for more replenishment, more growth. Minus three right now. Let's see if we can ally missions. One of those guys over there. I'll wait until this chaos wave kicks off, I reckon. They've only got that, the Kogan Warband is the shared enemy, and I don't have enough allegiance with them. Not just yet, anyway. There is wisdom. Obey me, the boss. Growth for that one. I don't think I will just yet. I think I'll hold off. Save that money. Indeed. Secured our flank at least. We're just at the following settlements. Yeah, so that's that should be cancelled now that it's held by an ally. Although that'll that'll probably time out once we confederate with them, so that's fine. Shaper of the eight winds. I'll go pack capacity, hidden stores, replenishment. Um, I'd rather do that just so that you're in a better a state to go on your issue. next mission. I know we need replenishment right now, but you're so close. So, so close. That'll bring us quite a good bounty. Trade two more turns. So that happens. Right. But one more end turn. You are deemed worthy of our assistance. Hello. You want me to join the war against the Blue Vipers? I'm going to say for the moment, no, because I just don't, I can't help you out down there. Yes, it will get a little bit from being a woman, but I'd rather wait until you've got some more money to offer me. And we're now into Yin. They are starting to build up a little bit, aren't they? Is it gonna, it's going to spill over next turn. It's going to come at us with everything they've got. No idea where that little rebel army went. Can't see them. Continue force marching up so we can get her into the gate next turn. And then we'll look to shuffle you guys along into Dragon Gate. Or look to bring you back down south. Where are these guys down here? And what's that one there? Burning Wind Nomads. Okay. Okay, so they've got all those broken lands of Tianli. I mean, surely you're going to take out those orcs quite comfortably. Very well. Most wise. The comfort in another turn. Okay. Child of the night. Building upgrade available. Yeah, Natalie, you want that one for more income. Anywhere else? Or is that it? We are in need. You guys can have your... Going to have more growth from here. I'll do that next turn. I'll get this one going for the moment. Um, and we are going for some Yang tech. So that should bring things back in alignment. Good, good, good. Last end turn. We'll see what happens. With chaos. Here we go. Attack on the Great Bastion has started. Additional chaos reinforcements will arrive while the threat remains full. I guess what we have to push out and try and break them is spawning some agents to come in and harass us. Refused. Reduce senior upkeep expenditure below 80% of income. Caravan completed. Lovely. Cargo of 1,000 has been sold for 4,939. And we got the Griffin Legion Lance. Oh boy. That's nice. Great Bastion attack has begun. Right. We will wrap things up here. We'll kick things off next time by sending uh, Yao over to the Dragon Gate. Although we can actually swap her out. Or... Where is she? We had a rank 5 one, didn't we? Yeah, here we go. Your Yin. What are you, actually? Are you... Your Yin as well. 
that would at least keep the balance there. We could sort you over for her, although I don't know where where she she'll have been specked actually. Will it uh, won't tell me in that character pool, will it? It's only the ones we've currently got active. I don't know if we will swap you. It might give you this, though. The Griffin uh, Legion Lance. They don't have any cavalry. They don't have a charge bonus right now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll need to choose our next caravan location. I mean, if we go for this one. Oh, no, it's this. Uh, you're returning to capital now. This one we sent before. Yeah, he's maximized his cargo. 7,210 from just going down to the Thunder Guts. 800, 8,610 going to Altdorf. But then that'll be a really long trip, whereas this one would only be six turns. Yeah, I think we'll do the six turn one this time. But we'll do that and more at the start of the next episode. Until then... Hope the Great Bastion holds. Hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take brunch on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet and Overclockers UK. Till the next one. Ciao for now.